our destiny. by favor. There are men that toil their way to the top. There are others the oil of God takes to the top. I am a man helped by God. His oil has lifted me to the top. And today I want to invite you to encounter that God that lifts men. To encounter the God that changes destiny. To encounter a God that answers prayer. To encounter a God that can make you what you want to be. I want to invite you to meet a God that can never fail. And today, your life will change for good. Is it Chimo? Oh, yes, I'm a Is it Chimo? Oh, Is it Chimo? Is it Chimo? You're the God who never, never, never fails. Is it Chimo? Is it Chimo? You're the God who never
Leto Kaba Zekret Ya Kaba Shibrahim Kotrebuskia Imakatele Gebre Inkro Kotrebuskia Jaki Kakakara Katia Kopro Inkre Keterebuskia Zeto Li Imbra Kantraba Soto Jikakia Kapaha Wherever you are, want to say Happy Easter and also Happy New Month. I know that God has been good to you and i know he will continually be good to you in the precious name of jesus christ uh, whichever country you are coming in from whichever city you are coming in from i want you to know whichever ministry you are coming in from i appreciate you and i celebrate you and i believe god that on this altar today you will find rest in god I want to honor Gladys from New York. You are welcome today. Thank you for being part of this journey of faith for this week. In the precious name of Jesus. Uh, who else am I greeting now? Uh, uh, Abraham said, this is my best month. Glory to God. May God give you a miracle birthday. In the precious name of Jesus. Fidelis from Port Harcourt, you are welcome. I bless you in the name of the Lord. Uh, Abraham is from Lagos. Uh, happy birthday already. Hope from Rumo Lumini, Emily from Woji. I want to say thank you for joining. The hand of God is resting upon you. Lorenta Andrew from the country of Malta. I want to say thank you. Precious Mother George. You know, there's a malt here in Nigeria, but it's a, a malt drink, so uh, <laughs> I don't think you are selling that. Jacqueline Clee from Germany, I want to say thank you for being part of this journey. Uh, the hand of God is changing your story. Ibi Latte from Rome Perico, Faith from Mbuoba, Lillian and James from Watford in the UK. Zainab Kamara from Holland, Emanuela from Borokiri, uh, somewhere from Dubai. He said this all so my betment you. Zezi from the name, you are blessed, or oh, as we used to call it when we were children, Ireland. Neka from Iwafe, DD from Calvary, said this is also my birth month. Happy birthday, and the Lord honor you marvelously this month. Mm -hmm. Hannah from Iwafe, you are blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ, Cookie from Portaco, Grace from Alu, I release the best of God for you. Sime, he said also, this is my best month all the way from Canada. You are blessed. Don Mekuse from Port, from Lagos. You are blessed. Chica from Port Harcourt. I Bella from Port Harcourt. Josephine from Port Harcourt. Sonia from Woji. His Real Highness Ben Aswa, you're welcome. Uh, Juliet, you're welcome. Joy, you're welcome. Everywhere you are, the hand of God rests upon you. Peculiar, all the way from Doha, you are welcome. Magdalene from ancient city of Benin, you are welcome. Glory to God. Well, I see so many names scrolling. I just picked out the ones I could. Uh, quickly pick out. So I bless every one of you. Just know I love you and just know that out of this altar you have visible, notable, undeniable positive change in the precious name of Jesus. Can you lift your hand and begin to welcome the Holy Spirit wherever you are? Just ask Him to take over. Just begin to sanctify yourself to the Lord on this altar of mercy tonight. Ma Andre Copra in Catarabushia, Zate Copara in Cretura, Ma Antiande, Liprosa, Kiaka, Caparacatea, 
Just go ahead and welcome his glory. Welcome the atmosphere of Jesus. You know one beautiful thing about Easter is what it reminds us of. In fact, when Jesus gave us the communion, he said, every time you pick this up, you show my death until I come. What he's talking about is the memory of Easter, the, the revelation of what happened at Calvary. And the first thing you notice when you look at Easter is simply this, God loves me. Hey, Kapandra Buzen Krehikataladoshke. Greater love has no man than this, that a man laid down his life for his friends. Can you lift your voice and begin to celebrate his love? Ye kopara katianga boshikiata. Eli gabare kempro intalaboskia. Jakianko pere to rabasatia. Lika greco trama and zen compra in katahaya. Jakianko koto rabasa kianko hia. Zade kika kapara katia kabaha. God loves me. Eh gabara to yaha. Je embroko se ikaka kapara katia. Ma ambrosia kape recrepia ze koraka jikaki angrehia. Father, thank you for your love. Father, thank you for your love. Father, thank you for your love. E toka mani kabure e tikinga abasha kia. Ze kroposhia kan dele krahikataha. Mazumpra in kan krehoto rabasatia. Ke le du palaka tianko pia. E jan gregori inde komana andreko prahikataha. Le brosia taka apahata. Je kabroko zikiataha. There's somebody hearing me today. That's a bit confused about the love of God. The things are happening around you make you doubt the love of God. A spirit of depression is setting in because of the consistent delays you have been seeing and the seeming denials. It's like your prayers are just hitting the roof and hitting the walls and nothing is shifting and nothing is happening and you are becoming very, very agitated and very frightened about the future. There's a dark cloud all over you and you are here on this altar tonight. I come to reaffirm to you that God loves you and I speak over you to the authority of Jesus. Let the darkness depart. Let a new spirit of faith come into you. Hey, let a new boldness with God return. Ja betora kapianto here. Nakikako kurakatiya gabala brokotia. God loves you. Hey, shagabale brokon trabaha. Lego bra in kateleboski akaba. Ja crepo sahata. You know, the second thing you notice about Easter is this. No, no matter how long it takes, God will come looking for you. No matter how deep you have fallen, God will come looking for you. It took a long time from the fall of man to the arrival of Christ. But God came looking for man. Man fell from the uttermost from the, from, from the to the guttermost. And God came looking for man. He came from up to the bottom. God came looking for him. No matter how long it takes, uh, God will come for you. No matter how deep you have fallen, God will come for you. I want you to lift up your hand and say, Father, thank you for pursuing me. Thank you for coming to rescue me. It is possible. I am rising. I am restored. I am becoming everything you want me to be. Open your mouth. I'm going to declare that right now. Makateko pashakiatehi, miga brante yoka mana kaya baha, le broko zekia kapata ha, la kreke tu rabasha hia, le embakan tubo se brahiata, meko kepo iteko parata ha, jan greko ri inde ko kama nakaya, han dekreto biata ka, bara breko trabasa en krekite ya, ja ambro sekia kapaha. Hear me. You are listening by radio. You have gone from being a minister to being an almost a backslider. Everything you had is gone. The glory has gone. The boldness has gone. The prayer life has gone. The, 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 the anointing has gone. Everything about you is as if the devil has 
sucked life out of you. But tonight, somehow or another, you are hearing the sound of my voice. As you are hearing me now, even if you fell from the uttermost to the guttermost, Jehovah is coming for you. Jesus is coming for you. I speak your restoration. The blood speaks for you. Mercy speak over you. The addiction be broken. The sin be forgiven. The self loathing be over now. Break a trouble. In Gabada 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 Gabada, my uncle Kateraboskia, Jacaque Cocotia, Le Boracatia, you fell from the height of love uh, to the place of divorce, uh, but God came looking for you now. You can be restored, uh, your love life can be restored, your home can be restored. Yet, no, Yaka Baracatia, Yet, no, Baracatia, it doesn't matter how long you have taken, it doesn't matter how deeply you fallen. I speak restoration. I speak turn around. I speak healing now. Hey, I reverse the divorce. I cut off the hand of hell. Now, in the name of Jesus, hey, Pato, hey, Yaga, Korete, Milata, Gabare, Koshete, Ribare, Miandekepa, Randa, Pek, Rakika, Tadamoskia, let the, re- let the relationship be restored. Let the love be restored. God has come looking for you. You are bound by an addiction. You are hearing me right now. You know my Let the your bread. 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 Hey topa. Hey yaga. Lakapa. Rekete. Jekete. Milaba. Mandropose here. And peg rapoto labasa. Yaga bala prakatiya. Easter tells me that no matter how long it has taken and no matter how deep a man has fallen, oh, it took very long from Adam. A man fell deeper and deeper and deeper from just eating the fruit to other things. But he came looking for man. He came to rescue man. I see your eyes again. I see your business rise again. I see your career rise again. I see your home restored again. I see you get up again. I see your ministry take shape again. Whatever the enemy has messed up. There is something called resurrection morning. Dry bones rise again. Dry bones rise again. Dry bones rise again. Dry bones Rise again, dry bones rise again, dry bones rise again. Dry bones rise again. Hey, Shabbat. Somebody lift your hand uh, and shout, I rise, I rise, I rise, I rise out of the grave, out of the ashes, out of captivity, out of bondage, out of shame, uh, out of failure, out of stagnation. I rise out of iniquity. I rise. Out of futility, I rise. Hey, hey, Out of poverty and shame, I rise. Hey, Out of addiction, I rise. Hey, Kreposa, Nabasa, Hatton. Amadoboto, Nabasa, Something is happening. Can you type in capital letters? I rise. Can you scream it? I rise. Somebody arise. Turn to the east. Point and say, I rise. Hey, Shakaparataha. Mele Barakatia. Mando Barakotiabaha. Yet the Gagagaga. Turn again to the right side. Point again and shout, I rise. Hey, Shaparotohi. Mila Barataha. Hey, turn, 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 tur
in the dimension and shout, I rise. Hey, hey, Parata. Hey, Domono Kabara. He shall get it. Barakere Kotiata. Hey, Bereko Trabaza. He yakatagarabara. Yet the Rebohea. Yet the Rea. Turn again to the right. Point into your future. I shall I rise. Hey, Kabarata. Hey, Korete here. Hey, Karataha. Ja, Bereko here. Father, as many as are making that declaration, let their rising be now. Let their rising be now. Somebody point to the ground. I am a woman at Kabaha. I shall I rise. Hey, ya Barato. Hey, hey, ya Kaberete. Hey, ya Bobara. Hey, ya Kadanada. Hey, ya Boroto here. Hey, ya Katata. He man the Bogara. Ja, here. Imagabababa, point to the heavens, I uh, scream like thunder, I rise, in prayer to the Lord, make a bad proposal. Everywhere you are hearing me, if you've been struggling with stagnation, if death is all around you, if nothing has been working, I'm going to put the oil of God on the ground where I am now. And I'm asking you to pull your shoe and stand barefooted there. Something is about to hit you right now. Your destiny is about to rise. You are about to shift levels right now. If you have not shared it, share it now. If there's anybody who is connected to you, related to you, associated with you, that you need to be part of this blessing right now. Call up the person. I rise. Hey, Topa. Hashaga. Kontrohi. Milata. Gabara. Tobrahia. Keretoha. Jakataha. Biekepe. Miladaha. Mangabe. Prokotrabasaha. Are you set? Are you set? Father, in the name of Jesus, I pour this oil upon this ground as a point of contact to wherever they are around the world. Man any man or woman that we consciously now, in obedience to the word I spoke of, plant their bare foot on the ground and declare a rise. Let the yoke of stagnation be broken over their life. Let the yoke of delay be broken over their life. Let the yoke of denial be broken over their life. Let the yoke of joblessness be broken over their life. Let the yoke of a uh, uh, singlehood be broken over their life. Let the yoke of barrenness be broken over their life. Somebody shout, I rise! Hey, Jafara Katia, Melege Bereho, Biante Nekama, Makape, Proposal Kataha Shaketrahia. Makekakakaha, one thing that Easter tells me, Hendre Bozeketia Kaba, Lakiange Gogagakaha, is that Satan was thoroughly defeated. <laughs> oh, he rules. And when Jesus rules, he said, I am him that was dead. I am alive. I live forevermore. But it didn't end there. He said, Behold, I hold the keys of hell and of death. Those who are listening by radio, my name is George Izuma, lead pastor of Gateway International Church. This is the altar of mercy. I'm in a hurry to just speak a blessing over you. So please flow with us. I will talk more later, but I need you to be in this atmosphere. Something supernatural is pouring up where you are right now. Get your friends involved. Everyone go on Facebook at Pastor George Ezuma, YouTube at Pastor George Ezuma, Instagram at George Ezuma, and share right away. Get everyone connected to you to be online tonight. Something is breaking loose in the atmosphere. The spirit of grace is at work. Everyone is rising by fire, is rising by power, is rising by the blood, is rising via Calvary. And I see you rising in the name of Jesus Christ. If anything asks you to blink tonight, that thing hurts you like the devil. I want you to get set tonight. Yemo Shabara and Traboskia, I rise in the name of Jesus. I say to you, Easter tells us that Satan was soundly, roundly, completely, totally defeated. Ah, Kabon Droboski Rakabatan. He said, I'm here that was dead. I am alive. I hold the keys of hell and death. I live forevermore. Brothers and sisters, I want you to look at that thing harassing you and tell that devil enough. 
you know, I, I like the testimony of this uh, sister on Friday. The one that somebody was tormenting. And then, uh, I, I'm trying to remember the full detail of that. When I ask you people to take your oil and put on the altar of Gateway Church, and after some days, I told you to take it back. You kept it, labeled it with your name. And you picked it up and went back home with it. And she said she took it and poured in the house. She has gone through all manner of witchcraft. All manner of evil. They know who was behind it. They couldn't do the person anything. And that day, after pouring it in the house, this woman screamed out of the house. And it's more than five years now. As she ran out of that compound, nobody has seen her. It looks like a lie, but it's a confirmable story. There are testimonies you hear. It looks like a lie, but a confirmable story. The person that told it is a lie. She has a family. She has a village. The power of God moved the woman out to a compound until now she has not returned. What happened? The devil is soundly defeated. What is harassing you is harassable. What is beating you is beatable. What is terrorizing you can see terror. What is attacking you can be attacked. You won't die where they died. You won't see shame again. Affliction shall not arise a second time. Death will not speak in your family. What the enemy came to me. For evil, God is turning to good. I want you to know that the devil came late. He was defeated before he met you. And now that he met you, you will defeat him again under Christ's authority. I want you to stretch your hand toward me and say every evil power attacking my life, break your hold. I break your power. Leave me alone. Now! Open your mouth and take authority and shake it into the fire. There are some snakes you need to shake into the fire. You won't feel any pain. You won't feel any shame. You won't feel any failure. You won't feel any darkness. Shake them into the fire. Leave me alone. You root of witchcraft, I cast in the name of the Lord. Open your mouth and attack it. I rise. Bind every opposition. Calvary tells us that the devil was soundly and roundly defeated. Ma and black and his poor principalities and powers. He made the shoe of them openly. He triumphed over them in hell. He what Jesus defeated cannot defeat you. What Jesus stopped cannot continue in your life. Hey, Shaparata. Hey, Nekabana Kutia. Barete Kia Kakaka. Rampete Reboskia. What he defeated cannot defeat you. Witchcraft cannot defeat you. Occult powers cannot defeat you. Hey, Shakaha. Infamity cannot defeat you. Hey, Ananana. Captivity cannot defeat you. Bread that you. Bread that you. Bread that you. Bread that you. Somebody shout, I break it. I break it. I break it. Every you. Bread. 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 Had the cope. He yagaba. He shotora. In Makaya. Rekepere. In Makabara 
Katia, he took a Boracatia, Jan Gegege, we in Brack and Raboskia, Kate Recopaha, we in Brack and Raboskia, Kade Ipoha. Somebody hearing me in your family, you have the inheritance of cough. Everybody is coughing, on the, usually from childhood until now. It's an inheritance in your mother's house. But in the name of Jesus, I cast the root on every member of your family. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, Makedo Kapa, Hedere Koja, Rika Kreketia, Maga Brakatia, Meko Brakatia, there's somebody called Joyce, in the name that's above every name. I come against the inheritance of madness in your house. I rebuke the hand of hell. I break the power of darkness. Affliction and now. Affliction and now. Affliction and now. Kadeko Pete, Hibakataka, Keko. What Jesus defeated cannot defeat you. The man that says over his dead body, We are head riser. Let him go down. 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 Whoever is attacking your family by witchcraft, go down, go down, go down, go down by fire, 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 come to her. Can you imagine what that lady went through? Giving a testimony in church of waking up in the house and seeing men in her room, not in the dream, physically. Spirit beings, men appearing physically in her room to torment her, torture her. How? I was talking to a man, an intelligent man, trained abroad. He's crying. The wife is consoling him. And he's saying, Pastor, I can't help it. It's I know it's happening to my wife, but I feel ashamed. It's I will be in the room. I am not sleeping. I see something walking to the room that is not physical. And tear the clothes of my wife and start raping her in my presence. I see my wife screaming. I can't help her. Now, these are people that we are living abroad, trained abroad. I'm talking about somebody that has had a position in government. Being somebody you will admire. He said, this is going on in my house. Not one month, not one year. I'm tired. I'm tired. We can't keep covering up. Say something. Do something. I come here and I'm pointing my hand at you. Maybe every night something comes to sleep with you. Dogs sleep with you. They mess you up. They give you all kinds of things to eat. You wake up business falls apart. You wake up carrier falls apart. You don't know what to do anymore. Your clothes is in the native doctor. They use your money to go and do one thing after another. Tears every day has become your reality. But you are connected to this tonight. Satan was soundly and roundly defeated. You cannot continue in that captivity. I release fire against whatever is holding you bound. I come against any mystery that's against your life. I cast the root of darkness. I break the powers of hell. Ye no fasha and rekia. Lo kobete etoko no niki giga ganga hiya. Ze pa kotwa hiya. I bind the power holding you down. Anything that needs to die. For you are destined to go forward. Die by fire. Now in the name of Jesus Christ. Andreko Barakata. E kreketeke 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 kreketeke. E shakia breketoka. Ali gange grakatoka pa. Ze gra trobo shiataha. E gego doko dokataka. 
Brahim Krahim Tokopa, Zigre Goga Kaya Kata, Ha Pro Zoto 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 Zoto, Lin Brahadaha, a spirit of judgment has gone out of this altar. Hey, this is an altar of mercy, but the Bible says, uh, Praise the Lord, His mercies endure forever. And He says, The God who by mercy He measured the Zero drowned in the Red Sea for His mercy endure forever. The hand of God has gone forth. That hand that drowned Pharaoh because of mercy on the Jews, let that hand go for right now. The man that's drowning your destiny, drown by fire. Jake Koperekotia, Biaka Barakatia, Neko Kaparakatia, anything pursuing you that refuses to let you go. Fire, 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 fire. So I shall leave me alone. Magabada. He says, somebody tonight may not be your night on this altar. But there's somebody hearing me now. What you are hearing right now is your salvation. Calvary tells me that Satan was defeated. Calvary tells me that my inheritance is activated. That's what Calvary tells me. My inheritance in Jesus is activated. The Bible says, and it's practical in law. It says, where there's a testament, there's of necessity going to be the death of the testator for that testament to take effect. So God gave us the first testament. It was dedicated with blood in Moses. And then he gave us a second testament. He had to be dedicated with blood in Jesus. Jesus died so that the testament he wrote, the new will and testament of Jesus may come into effect. But then he rose again. And he's seated at the right hand of God. And he's helping to enforce that covenant. He's helping to enforce that testament. He's helping to enforce that will. You know the Bible said they went everywhere. Sir, how will you want to die and get to heaven and find out that what you are hoping to get in heaven was meant to be used on earth? <laughs> I'm going to heaven. I'll be rich in heaven. What you are hoping to get in heaven was meant to be used on earth. And you never got it until you crossed over. You will prosper. Your inheritance of health is activated. Your inheritance of wealth is activated. Your inheritance of peace is activated. Your inheritance of power is activated. Everything Jesus paid for is yours. I want you to lift up your two hands. If you want to kneel down, you can kneel down. Anywhere you are, you can cry out to God and say, Father, I take my inheritance. You know, one thing I forgot to tell you on Friday when I was ministering is this. That in this kingdom, you can have anything that the Father has provided for. But if you don't make a demand on it, you are likely going to uh, have it kept for you and you will never assess it. The prodigal son walked up to the father. And he said, give me. The good son stayed with the father and never said, give me. The father gave the one that said, give me. And the father kept looking at the one who didn't ask for anything. When that one who didn't ask for anything was complained, the father said, everything was yours. You could have taken it as you wanted. So, sir, Jesus paid for it. And I want you to just type in capital letters, I receive it. Uh, don't tell me what it is. Just say, I receive it. Everywhere you are, if you are listening to me and you're an obedient person, just type it, I receive it. La kope ekete ikapa ankato ijiki kaka. Le brogoza kianka kapa. Le kra. You can kneel down. You can lie down. You can stand up. 
and just begin to speak over your life. I know you are typing in capital letters and receive it. Now, as you are doing that, begin to call for the things you receive. Call for your wedding. Call for your wedding. Call for your wedding. Somebody hearing me right now, you must wed before, before the month of August is over. Call for your wedding. Ma ambrakan traboski rakata. Jekaka krekete reboskia. Ma ante kokra intalaboskia. Menga barakate agaba. Je in krekete reboskia. There's somebody pursuing a turnover uh, this year of about 360 million. That's what you wrote in your January something. I say, God, this is a turnover I want this year in this my small business. I want you to know God is going to exceed your expectation. You're going to see God turn things around and take you higher. Go ahead and begin to receive it right now. There's a young man there that wants to start a real estate business. And everything is down right now. In the name of Jesus, receive it. Jaba le to recapaha. Receive the property, receive the buyers, receive everything you need to set out in the precious name of Jesus. He to rakapa shin krikitiya. Makianke kukrakatiya. Bale brokondra masan krakia. I see four properties that you are planning to sell. And each one of them has been there since last year, November. And nothing is moving on that. I receive it for you right now. Go for the properties are released and the income comes in. In the name of Jesus Christ. Laka bere e brokon trabasata. Jikakia kukrakin triboskia. Maneko barakatia ke broke triboskia. E bakatea. Ma am brokon triboskia. Jikakakataraboskia. I see somebody. This is out of town in your company. But you're going to be promoted with a triple promotion before the month of April is over. Whatever is happening, I don't know. But it's going to be out of town in your company. But you're going to rise three times, uh, three levels this month alone. In the precious name of Jesus. There's a family member that has been in detention for six years. He has been in prison for six years. And everything you have done to bring him out has not worked out. In the name of Jesus, the month of April is the month of his release. Before the 23rd of April, the Lord bring him out. Somebody call your Mark. I don't know who you are, but help of God. Receive the help of God. There's somebody that's listening to me right now. You are holding water. And you are trusting the Lord that the anointing of God will be upon that water. Because you are planning to rub that water on the leg of your parent. Who, one of your parents that's having terrible arthritis, lift up that bottle of water. I pray over it on the authority of Jesus that the power of God will enter into it. As it touches the leg of your father, in the name of Jesus, or the leg of your mother, I don't know which one, but one of your parents, let the arthritis go. Let the yoke of infirmity be broken. Let the work of the wicked be cut off. In the name of Jesus Christ, leg walker. Hey, shaka parakata, pen go. Inaga parato, eleke, 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 eleke. Otogiba la kapa. There's a young boy that's been consistently having convulsions. I rebuke the power behind the conversion. I command the yoke to be broken. Be set free 
now. Be set free now. Be set free now. Be set free now. In the name of Jesus Christ. He to rakaji kakata. Le in brakan traboskia. Le kakakarakatia. Baka proko trabaskia. Jika kakata raboskia. Le goko barakatika. Ma ambokon traboski rakapatan. That's a young lady. You didn't know this was not normal. But it has been happening to you since you started menstruating. Every time your menstrual cycle comes in, you are going to have terrible body cramps and then something like uh, uh, boils. I know uh, an organ will come out in different parts of your body instantly. It happens continually. Every time is your menstrual cycle is beginning, you see those boils all over your body. I command it to cease now. The last time is the last time forever. In the precious name of Jesus, in the precious name of Jesus, Hateko Igabarakatea, Makebro Gozin Kataraha, Jaka Proke Ziantele Kapaha, La Ambekaha, Calvary tells you that Satan was defeated. Brothers and sisters, I want you to know, in the name that's above every name, what you said you receive has been given to you. Your portion is delivered. Your inheritance is commanded. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will have it and you will enjoy it. I want to welcome you again tonight to the altar of mercy. Everyone that have not shared this tonight, you are not uh, doing the right thing. As you come in, whichever area you are connected, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, please tag somebody, invite somebody in, tell them the altar of mercy is on and the life of God is being revealed to his people. This is a new month and in the name that's above every name, this month opens. You're going to pray over the month in a few minutes and then we continue this journey from tomorrow. Those listening by radio, my name is George Izumwali, Pastor Gateway International Church. I come to you Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday on this altar of mercy. Please join us again 11 p.m. tomorrow until about 12 midnight. Please go to Facebook and YouTube and Instagram and get yourself, you know, connected to us. Everybody listening, please Subscribe to me on my YouTube channel. Everyone, go there, subscribe. At Pastor George is what go there, subscribe. Everybody, and click the notification channel so that when I come in, you can flow with us. Glory to God in the highest. I trust the Holy Ghost. Your life will never ever remain the same in the precious name of Jesus. So I want you to please know this is the altar of mercy. The ruling spirit of this altar is the mercy of God. He said, I'll have mercy on whom I will have mercy. I'll have compassion on whom I have compassion. So then it's not to him that will it or to him that run it. It's unto God that shows mercy. Now I know that many of you have been blessed by the ministry that we've been bringing. Now you can send your testimonies to me on pastorgateway at yahoo.com. Pastorgateway at yahoo.com. Pastorgateway, one word, at yahoo.com. I want to hear from you. I want to know what God has done for you. But if you cannot send an email, go ahead and send a voice note or send a text message via WhatsApp on 0702 5000950. If you are sending a voice note, let it not be more than two minutes. Okay? Just go direct to the point. Every message you are sending, give it a title. My name is so-so and so. I'm coming from the United Kingdom. Uh, this is my phone number or my email. Uh, the, my testimony is on. You give it a topic, healing, breakthrough, whatever. And we're going to just read it. Go direct to the point. Tell us the details. And then we're going to take it from there. So I want to hear from you. And I've shared already a few testimonies from Friday. I may not be able to run into that again today since we are uh, 
essentially going to pray briefly now for the new month and then get into anointing ourselves for this month and moving on in the grace of God. And then if you are somebody who is not used to giving an offering, I want you to get set to give an offering tonight. I want you to give God a small seed or a big seed or a sacrifice, depending on what you are believing for for this month. And this is the first day of the month. I'm here today to make sure you are not an April fool, <laughs> but your April is full of grace. Amen. Can somebody type my April is full of grace? Okay, so I want you to make sure of that. You are not an April fool. Your April is full of grace. So I want you to please honor the Lord, trust Him, and then He will bless you. We are not going to be saying anything. Look at this funny testimony. Very, very funny. Oh dear Jesus. People can give testimony. Can you see this one? <laughs> He said, my name is Lovina. Uh, my testimony is on financial breakthrough. This thing works. He said, I've been hearing people's awesome testimonies, but I never knew it would come to me. He said, there is this person, his name is God's power, who has been on my neck to visit Gateway since 2022, but I refused. He said, this gentleman to please God. A viewing center came near my location in Bundu. So I, he came again to, to, and told me to join. So I came. I started the program on day two. And I prayed for financial breakthrough. Now, you may be looking at the testimony. And it may not look big to you. But I want you to consider where the person is coming from. Please listen. He said, last year, 2022. Uh, sorry, 2023. Yeah. I was... He said, on the year 2022, sorry, I was robbed. Uh, 2023, sorry. I was robbed. The 100, is it 1.5 million or 150,000? I see the zeros, but it's looking very tiny to me. Uh, it's looking disconnected. It looks like 1.5 million or something I was using to do my business was snatched and uh, was snatched from me. December, that's last year, I borrowed 100,000 from a friend just to uh, add to the small business because I wasn't financially stable at that time. I told the guy that collected the money from me that I would pay back in January. Okay. His money that was snatched was 150000 He borrowed the 100000 to put back in the small business he's doing and told the person he's going to pay back in January. And there was no money to pay back. He said, all through the January to please God program, I was praying for financial breakthrough and favor. On day six of the program, which was termed fighting for restoration and compensation, Papa said that tonight, the minimum you are getting is twice your loss. I knew he was talking to me. So I took the prayer very serious. I don't know how he took it serious. But he said he took it serious. Whatever position was serious, I don't know. <laughs> he said, on the 23rd of January, the God of Pastor George is who showed himself. I woke from sleep and saw an alert of 20,000 naira. Then I checked my account balance. What I saw there landed me on the ground. <laughs> I saw a balance of 397,900 naira. I don't even know where the money came from till now. I have not gotten a call from anyone from that time until now to talk about the money. I saw 20,000 given to me in 18 places. And then I had an additional 370,000. This is someone that had no money that just borrowed. Is this what the person said? This is someone that just borrowed 10,000 to add to her business. He said, since then, I joined Gateway Family. He said, I'm believing God for more and more. <laughs> he said, this thing works. 
There are some testimonies you hear. You are asking yourself, what is this one again? God can be a humorous God. I mean, they stole her 150,000. She attended service. She had the pastor say, you are, the minimum you are getting is double what you lost. She positioned herself in the place of prayer very powerfully. And then she finished praying. She got back home. She saw an alert of 20,000. Of 20,000. And then checked her account and saw 390 something thousand. What is going on? Till now she can't explain. And then she saw alerts coming in. 20,000. 18 times. How can God just do you that? And she said, I've waited. And nobody has called me. Nobody told me where I came from. So what is the big deal? Let me chop life. <laughs> I speak over you today. Wherever it's coming from, let it enter your hand. You may doubt it. That's not my problem. You may quarrel about it. That's not my problem. All it is her experience. And that's what she wrote. And her full name and all that is there. So in the name that's above every name, I speak over you today. May God give you a testimony that people will say is a lie. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever area of your life is under financial pressure, that pressure die now in the name of Jesus. Okay, now let's get into praying over the month. I won't be reading any more testimonies, of course, because our time is gone. Let's pray over this new month. Let's begin to sanctify it to the Lord. And let's be going to call it a month where peace and prosperity shall reign. This is your month of Salem, the month of peace and prosperity, the month of rest round about. I want you to stretch your hand toward me and say in the name of Jesus, Father, I thank you for the month of April. My April is open today. I declare my April is full of grace. I declare my April is a month of Salem. I declare my April is full of peace and righteousness. In the precious name of Jesus, I will find rest in April. I will see ease in April. Everything work in my life in April. Open your mouth and be able to declare that right now. In teko shakapa egada na koprehia. Langreko parakatikaba. Ze improkotia antalakoshkia. Ze gege gurakati angabala. Hotreboze kian katalakoshkia. Ze gaga baraka pro in kataha. Somebody shout, oh gaze of April. Open to me now. The spiritual gates of April. Open to me now. The financial gates of April. Open to me now. The marital gates of April. Open to me now. The ministerial gates of April. Open to me now. My Antioshia. The gates of nations. Open to me in April. In the precious name of Jesus. Open your mouth. I'm going to declare that. Makateleko Shakia. Le Imbrakan Traboskia. Lakako Kaparakatia. Ze embrakan traboskia, je teko karakatikaha, ma ambrogo drabasaha. He said, my presence will go with you and I will give you rest. Let me say in the name of Jesus, let the presence of God go with me through April. In the name of Jesus, doors open of their own accord. Favor multiply everywhere. In the name of Jesus, rest round about. In the name of Jesus, April will bless me. April will bless my family. April will bless my business. April will bless my career. Kateko shakatia. Mego brain kakataha. Let me hear you say in April, only good things follow me. Hey, Say it again in April, only good things follow me. Shout again in April, only good things follow me. Makate kubashaha, li breke trabaskia, la kupa interimuskia, le gaba baba baba. Young lady, pray this prayer right now. In the name of Jesus, every appointment with calamity, every appointment with shame, every appointment with failure, every appointment with death, every appointment with accident, every appointment with losses. I break you in April. I break you in April. I break you in April. I break in April, oh April, I rise in you, I rise in you, I rise in you, I rise in you. Hey, take a bayata, hold on, get 
Reketea, Mila Gabaraka, Him Peposha, Kredin Kentu Rakabasa to Yakapa. Ebra Gada 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 Gada. Pick up your anointing oil. Pick up your anointing oil. Put it in your hand. Ebroso Katianda Likam Broko Trabashi. Father, I pray for everyone. As their oil is on their hand right now. Lord, I ask you that the gates of April will open. The treasures of April will be released. As the anointing comes upon them, every blessing of this month answer to them. Now put it on your head. And begin to call in everything you are expecting for this month. Call in everything. Your promotions, your visa, your new job, your engagement. Call in what you are expecting for this month. Your pregnancy. Call it in. Sir, don't be careless about this now. Don't be careless about this. This is when inheritance is shared. Call it in. Pray about it. Pray about it. There's someone having a lot of pain on the chest. Lay your hand on the chest right now. I command that pain to cease. I command that pain to cease. I command that pain to cease. Wherever it's coming from, go back there. Satan, the Lord rebuke you. No evil. No evil. No evil. No evil. Pain cease. Now, in the name of Rakan Trabuskia. She ain't cricket and malfunctional organ will function well. In the name of Jesus. Father, I pray over them right now. Whatever they are calling for, let it become their testimony. Whatever they are calling for, let it become their testimony. Whatever they are calling for, let it become their testimony. Before the last day of April, you will stand before God's people to testify that April exceeded your expectations. In the precious name of Jesus. Somebody shout Amen. Now this night, everywhere you are listening to, to me from, I want you to please listen. Can you give God a seed? Some of you can make it a sacrifice. Some of you can make it a simple seed. It doesn't matter. You can give a seed of 300 naira representing the 30 days of the month. You can give 3,000. You can give 30,000. You can give 300,000. I'm not saying that. To... Now some of you can give that to the church or you can give us a prophet offering. Whichever the Lord puts in your heart. But I want you to put the month of April with a seed or a sacrifice, depending on your level. Will you try one? Will you do something? Those on the live center network, I forgot you earlier, but right now I remember you. I'm listening by Rick TV. I honor you. Please go ahead right now. We are live on radio, live on TV, to the glory of God. Everyone go. Now, the account number is First Bank, 314 517 4083. 314 517 4083. The name is Gateway International Church. Please, I don't send anybody private, uh, what do you call it, now, prophecies and tell you to give money to orphanage. It's criminals that do that. Not, I don't know any pastor that does that. So, anything you hear is an old lady that is doing that. Okay, now, uh, if you want to give to the church, first bank 314 517 4083. You can give 300 naira, you can give 3000, you can give 30,000, you can give 300,000, you can give 3 million, you can give what the Lord puts in your heart, make a sacrifice. Okay, now you can do a prophet's offering, Echo Bank, 057-201-1753, George Izoma, Echo Bank, 057-201-1753, George Izoma. Those in the U.S., you can use Zelle for gateway. My gateway seed 
at gmail.com. Use it to send the money via Zelle. My gateway seed at gmail.com. We'll give you an account number in Bank of America. Go ahead and put it there. My gateway seed at gmail.com. Those of you on YouTube, look at the chat window. You will see a dollar sign, a pound sign, a naira sign, depending on which country you are using. Go ahead and click on it and use the token and give. It will get to us. Everywhere you are, if you're in the U.S., Canada, and you can't give for any reason, UK, whatever, go to the YouTube, look at the chat window, check the sign of the currency, use your own token, you give, and let the Lord honor you. Okay. The pastor's account, somebody type it out for them in all the platforms. Echo Bank, 57 201-1753. Whatever the Lord allows you to sow, sow right now. Jesus, I pray over every man and woman that's connected to this altar today. Mercy, visit them. Show them mercy. Forgive their sins. Heal their life. Break the power of darkness. Show them help in every area. Give them peace in their home. Give them a new love for you. Revive their Christian life. I pray for them, O oh God, that every cancer die, diabetes die, high blood pressure die, every walk of wickedness be cut off in the precious name of Jesus. Show them help that is unusual. Fight their battles. Let this altar take over that battle. Give them continual victory. Jesus, I decree, there shall be no loss, no evil report. Give them help in trouble. In the precious holy name of Jesus. Everywhere you are, make sure you give something. Make sure you give something. You can give 300 if that's the level where you are. But you can give 3,000. You can give 30,000. You can give... 300, you can give 3 million. What is your level? Honor the Lord with a seed or a sacrifice based on what is going on in your life right now. I command the best of God. As you go to bed tonight, let the glory rest upon you. Wake up, heal, deliver, set free, and send your testimonies to us at pastorgateway at yahoo.com. I bless you now. Your new month is blessed. Go forth and harvest the abundance of God this month. You will never see shame or suffer loss in the precious name of Jesus. I'll be meeting with you on this altar tomorrow by 11. Now, uh, Wednesday is our what X service. I'll be seeing you in Gateway Church. We'll be doing some creatives uh, ministering to us. Those that make uh, all kinds of movies in Gateway, they will show you a few of their clicks that I preach and minister. Thursday, those of you in worry, I'll be at the move of God mission for you Thursday and I'm going to trust the Lord that your life will never be the same again. So if you're in worry, get set to see me and your worries will be over in the name of Jesus. I love you guys and we continue tomorrow. Have a beautiful night rest. Let's have your testimony. God bless you.
Last ten. 